If you are having problems getting your Adderall filled right now, you are not alone. Check out the video on what is causing it. Right now in the year 2024, it is getting way worse in, it, in regards to actually being able to pick up, your, pick up your script. If you're having problems getting it right now, I know, for example, for me at least, and some people I know that you need to have a decent rapport with your pharmacy. If you don't right now, call them because with there being such a shortage, you need to ask them, like for example, if you take 20 milligrams IR of Adderall twice a day, if you call them and they go, we don't have that, the next question would be, what do you guys have 10 milligram? And if they have, they say yes, okay, so you need to ask your doctor to send a new script because they can't just change the dose on an Adderall script being a, um, a control two substance. And that's the one thing that's kind of rough right now is before um, the pandemic that happened, before 2020, you could you they would give you they'd write you paper scripts. So if they didn't have it at one pharmacy, okay, that's not a problem. You go to another one, and you could go around. But now being electronically, if they don't have it, you've got to let your doctor know, and they've got to send a new script. And we all know how the process is in regards to doctors sending scripts, getting back to you. Your doctor could be on vacation just in general. So you need to be really proactive about this. Meaning that if you're getting toward the end of your script right now, you can, the earliest you can pick up your medication is two days prior. So you typically get a 30 day supply on day 28, you can get it. So what I would do is I would call on day 27, ask them if they have it. If they don't ask them, do you have any other doses, dose equivalents that they could, that, uh, that, uh, that they have in stock. I know right now, if you do take the instant release, and, and here's the whole problem, and here, first off, here's the whole problem, what is causing this, from a pharmacist I was talking to, at least in the Midwest, and this is on the East and West Coast as well, it's, it's across the United States. What's happening right now is there's a massive shortage of the Adderall XR, but there's a stimulant crisis in regards to everything, but it's the Adderall XR, and what happens is, since there is such a shortage, everyone, they got their... Uh, they let their doctors know they got their uh, they got their medication changed to instant release, like 20 milligrams XR to 20 milligrams IR, because there wasn't an IR problem, but since there was an XR problem, people got their doses changed to the IR, and now people who take the IR, which is instant release, they're having problems getting their 20 milligram ones filled. What they have in stock right now, as I say this today, late October 2024, they, the 10 milligram IR is more available right now uh, than people might than people might be telling you. So you just have to be proactive. Let your pharmacist know, hey, look, I've I've uh, I take this medication because they might be at first a little uh, adamant to, to actually tell you that that they have the medication due to potentially they don't want to get robbed, nothing like that. But if you need to, if they need, hey, can you give me can you give me some sort of identification, or if you want to show them proof, this is my script, I just can't uh, get it filled so they can tell you if they have it in stock, just do it. You don't want to go without your medication. Next thing, if for whatever reason, they're out of that as well, and this is with CVSs in general, that's where right now, CVS, that's the main, uh, that's the main, that's the main chain that's being hit right now with having no XR and everyone being pushed to IR. The next step would be if you can't get it from a major chain or even a Walgreens, go to a hospital, in-house hospital pharmacy. And you might go, well, you got to be a patient there. No, you don't. You can have your medication, for example, sent to, let's just throw out a hospital here. Um, I don't know, St. Luke's, right? They have, they've got hospital pharmacies. They've got in-house hospital pharmacies, outpatient ones. And they, a lot of times, keep their stocks. They have a lot more... Uh, in stock and a lot more backward coming in. It's really the major chain pharmacies that are affected the most by this. So if a CVS is hit, more than likely for sure the other ones are hit because they all use the same, they all, all, all the medication comes from the same manufacturer, which right now it's Teva that the big problem is. What they had a lot of was the, de the dextro um, amphetamine. And with the switch from XR to IR for patients, that's what's causing the shortage. 10 milligram they have a little bit more of, but then raises the problem. Once again, there are certain brands of it are certain generics that people don't respond well to. 
but you might just have to right now. It's kind of like the wild, wild west of this medication, unfortunately, but just wanted to give everyone an update on that that's suffering, that try to hit up a hosp an, um, an outpatient or a hospital, hospital run pharmacy, because you don't have to be a patient there. You can call them and if they won't talk to you on the phone about it, if you can drive there, just tell them what's going on, show them if you need to on your phone or whatever your script, and they should be able to give you some um, information. Some some pharmacies, protocol and policy wise, will not tell you because they can't. But there are more there are more that will tell you than won't because they don't want you to suffer, and you might have to pay without insurance as well. But the good thing is, a lot of times Adderall without insurance is not super expensive. But that's a whole nother thing. It's because it's so cheaply produced. It doesn't cost near as much as a lot of other extended release medications. But hopefully they get some of this figured out. But check out my video in regards to what's really causing this as well. Have a great rest of the week. I'm sorry if all of you are suffering. Try to get some exercise in. Uh, try to eat healthy during this time. It's a rough time we all live in. Love you all. Like, subscribe, comment if you're affected.